Hi, Diane. Hi, Danny Wood. How are you today? Good. How are you? Great. It's really nice to talk to you. Thanks for taking the time to call KTU. Oh, no problem. No problem. It's, it's a pleasure. Well, it's been 15 years since New Kids on the Block. Yeah. What brought this reunion about? Actually, it's different for everyone in the group, but for me, it was a phone call from, uh, from Donnie okay. uh, saying he had a song that he thought we should record and you know, maybe start doing something together again. And it was very similar to when we first got together. He called me up and said, hey, there's auditions for this group. You need to come and audition. So it was really nice that it happened almost the same way as it did before. So is this the new single that we're talking about? No, it was a song called Click, 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 actually. Okay. So um, it wasn't the single. The, we had to decide between like five or six songs for the single. And Summertime just seemed like the right song because it's, you know, summer's coming. and Yeah, it sounds good to me. Oh, thank you very much. So Thanks. what's the name of the new album? We don't know yet. <laughs> <'Cause> we're, <laughs> okay. finishing the, we're finishing the album right now, so we're, you know, we're like 15 songs deep into the album, so we don't really know. All right. You're kicking off a big summer concert tour May 16th. Yeah, we're very, very excited. We're in rehearsals now for um, the Today Show we have coming up, and but also for the, for the tour we're going to be into rehearsals all through the summer, and we're excited, and the response has been phenomenal. Oh, I can imagine. And when I was reading about you, it says that you were always the body of the group because you were always so physically fit. Are mm -hmm. you still physically fit? I honestly got to say I'm in the best shape of my life. But I know people say that, but really, I really have worked hard because I want to be prepared for right. you know, getting back together and doing the rehearsals. And yeah, I, I, I take care of myself. I watch what I eat. And well, I would imagine that touring is really very intense and that you have to be in really good shape to be able to stand up to the demands of it. And plus, I read that you are always the one doing a lot of the choreography for the group as well. Back in the day, me and Jordan definitely... Uh, contributed a lot to that. This time around, I have no interest in doing that. Okay. I'll leave that up to, you know, we have choreographers and stuff. And But we're all dancing. We're going to do all the old stuff. We're going to do a lot of the new stuff when we go on tour. But the fans are going to get everything they want and more. Well, in 1990, Forbes magazine said you guys were the highest paid entertainers, even higher than Madonna and Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's I, I didn't... incredible. I didn't get any of those checks, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, a little bit. No, yeah, I mean, we all did well. You know, we can't, I, I never complained. This is like winning the lottery twice. That's great. Um, but those numbers and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, we, we were signed to a production company. You have right. managers to pay. Right, of course. You know, so, it's a business. Yeah, it was a bit, the mm -hmm. business side of it is a little more complicated than just what Forbes says. So you have how many children now in 15 years? I have four kids, oh. yeah. So what kind of a dad are you? Are you really close with the kids? Oh, yeah, I'm hands-on. I'm We're rehearsing in California. I'm flying home every weekend. Oh, how are you doing that? Wow. To Miami, and I live in Miami, but <laughs> I'm, I'm hands-on. I take them to school, I pick them up, I make them dinner. They call me a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sweet. It is. And and you're doing something that's just so exciting and living a dream by reuniting with new kids on the block and going on tour and giving us some really great new music to play on the radio. I feel very thankful. And, you know, mm -hmm. for me, what defines me is the father that I am. Right. And that's first. And, okay. you know, I had a long talk with my kids before we when we first started recording and you know, I wanted to make sure they were okay with it, you know, right. and they, they were okay with it, and now they're looking forward to the, the tour, and I'm just really, really grateful, because who gets the chance to do it 15 years later again? Right, well, you sold 80 million albums worldwide back in 1990, so yeah. something really magical happened then, and I'm sure that you're going to recreate that magic by coming back together again with New Kids on the Block. So make sure you send love to all the guys. I will. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, because I know the women are going to be screaming in the audience <laughs> when you guys take take the stage, and that has to be really exhilarating. And thank you for being such a positive role model in a day when we so need them. It's mostly for my children, you know. Right. Everything I do, I know they're... 
going to be watching me. And, you know, I want them to all grow up and be, you know, to go on and do great things in their own careers. So The only last question I have for you is, okay, if I have a new Kids on the Block lunchbox from 15 years ago, how much can I get for it on eBay? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on to it because I think the price will go up pretty soon a lot. (laughs) All right, Danny Wood from New Kids on the Block. Thank you so much for calling us at 1035KTU. Thank you so much. And good luck to you.